Good morning and welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be doing Costa Rican food. Primarily, uh, it's going to be rice and beans. Um, that is, I went to Costa Rica, I actually lived there for a little bit, uh, for about a week uh, last summer. And just about every single day we ate rice and beans with every single meal. Uh, and I was thinking, oh, that's going to be terrible. It worked out pretty well. I really enjoyed myself. It was a lot of fun, um, and the food was great. So I'm going to be basically following that same sort of meal schedule. So for breakfast, we're doing rice and beans with eggs. Uh, for lunch, we're going to do rice and beans with chicken. And for dinner, we're going to be making rice and beans um, with corn pancakes, which will be a little more involved. Um, so first thing we're going to do this morning is we're going to just take some eggs, uh, and we're going to, I'm just going to use two eggs. Uh, I'm going to scramble them and then I'll mix in the rice and beans. Okay, so now we're going to scramble the eggs. Um, and I'm um, just grabbed a little bit of olive oil as usual. Uh, so I'll put a little bit of the olive oil on the bottom of the pan. Um, and then we'll scramble the eggs. And what you saw over there with the rice and beans was that actually was uh, some leftover rice and beans from a little earlier in the week um, when we used it for. I think one of them, uh, the breakfast burrito for Mexico Day, which is another video you should, you should definitely go and check out. There we go. Um, so I just, I'm just going to be using a little bit of that, and then later on we'll use another pack of rice and beans. I just figured, why not use it? Um, okay, so this is heated up. I'm just going to put the eggs in there. So, and that's also that uh that pot right there that'll be for the rice and beans later on so once these start to get pretty uh pretty dry you can turn it down a little bit um and then instead of microwaving the rice and beans i'm actually just going to put it right on in here with the uh with the egg so i just oops well i guess that'll be enough um I'm just sort of break it up because it has uh it has been in the fridge for a little bit so it's definitely cold um yeah, probably would have been a good idea to break it up beforehand, but oh well. So it goes. Make sure you're mixing up the eggs with it so that the uh, all the egg gets cooked. Um, part of the reason I'm actually doing this is just because I want the flavor of the rice and beans in the egg. Uh, what I found myself doing when I was in Costa Rica was actually just combining it all together, mixing it all together on the plate, um, and letting it sit for a tiny bit just so that the rice and beans, uh, that flavor would go into the eggs. Because, I don't know about you, but honestly, I just don't really like scrambled eggs plain. Um, you gotta add, like, ketchup or something. Otherwise, they're kind of gross. Okay. Well, the eggs are just about done. Um, and the rice and beans definitely seem to be, uh, hot. So, I can then just take this out, stick it on the plate. I, uh, I wouldn't rec really recommend adding any spices. You could add a little bit of salt and pepper, but I think this is pretty good just as it is, um, especially with the packet that we're using. Uh, that already has some spices in it. If you can find that packet, do it. Why not? Oops. Um, if not, then you know, add a little bit of garlic, uh, some salt and pepper, and that sort of stuff. So uh, let's take it on over. Let's turn this off first. And then we'll take it over to our plate, dish it out, and then... We'll be ready to eat, which will be great. It's a good breakfast to have. It's sort of a, I guess it's, you know, like the breakfast burrito minus the burrito and the cheese. And I think we put paprika in that as well. But it's good. So, uh, yeah, it's great. So there's our breakfast for Costa Rican day. It took, uh, you know, five minutes basically. And uh, I will see you. For lunch. If you'd like to see the recipe, I have the entire recipe down in the bottom in the description, along with uh, the ingredients and everything that uh, you have to do to prepare it. Um, also, follow my Instagram at college underscore eats 101. Uh, I have pictures of all the food and what each of the meals actually is. Uh, so, thanks again for watching, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.